Um, in our system, we use amiodarone for, for VT, symptomatic VT with a pulse, for example. Um, and it's important to understand sort of the limitations of amiodarone. And it's not that amiodarone is a terrible drug, it's not. It's, it, it, it's quite useful and we use it all the time. And I would use it in a patient with, uh, with a VT with a pulse who is very, very stable. But it's important to understand that it's, it's unlikely to be effective. The conversion rates for amiodarone for VT are, are fairly low and they're less than 50% in any kind of a meaningful time frame uh, for emergency care. And so it's very common that we will start that medicine, it proves ineffective, and then we still end up cardioverting the patient. And that doesn't mean we shouldn't have given it, but it's important to understand when you're setting up for that, you know, that 150 amiodarone over 10 minutes, don't expect that to have converted the patient uh, by the time you get to the hospital, because it probably, it probably, probably will not. Um, and that's kind of true of most of the medicines that are available pre-hospital for, for, uh, for, uh, for VTAC.